the fridge. Growing up, my father and I would make frequent trips to the junkyards that surrounded Topeka, Kansas. We'd look at the crunched up vehicles, wondering who died in there. I was curious if the sticky films on the upholsteries and velord seats were human tissue of some sort left over from some horrid accident. There was one particular junkyard that we frequented that had the best selection of old Dietrichs. Here I saw one of the most amazing totems I've ever seen. It was a pile of hundreds upon hundreds of old Frigidaires. I knew from the fearful stories that my mother told me that I should never go close to an old fridge, that I should never pull open the silver door handle and slide into the fridge to hide and hide and go seek games. I should never crawl into deep freezes either. I had been warned. The fridges of those days were never to be left out with the door in place. The doors should always be removed. But here in this pile of hundreds, if not a thousand, old refrigerators, nearly all of the doors were intact, yet leering open, bidding me to enter and hide from my father. It would take him a month to find me in one of those fridges. All the people in the county would be opening the doors, searching for the little boy's body. Now I think of this fridge as a portal to another world, to a parallel universe. Through this fridge, I vow to visit the owner of this painting a year after my death with proof of an afterlife. One year from my death at midnight, the afterlife will be manifest to you.